All right, welcome back. I am Fiddlin' Johnny. This is my fiddle channel, and as you know, also magic reviews. I know you'd like to hear a little more fiddling today. Uh, in case you're not sure what that is, that is called Off to California. It's a hornpipe, a uh, traditional Irish tune. And um, I picked that one today because when I think of California, uh, I think of 49ers and gold and gambling. And today we're going to do a review of a trick that uses poker chips. So uh, it's called Gamble. I keep wanting to call it the Gamble, but every time I went on the webpage and looked for it, it just said Gamble uh, by Steve Cook. So anyway, stick around, uh, and I think maybe I'll uh, I'll open it up, read the instructions, maybe actually do a demo, and then we'll actually talk about the review. So stick around and uh, find out more about this product. All right, so we're gonna do a quick demonstration of The Gamble by Steve Cook. Uh, I'd like to welcome my assistant here, Rory. Hello, Rory. Hello. You may know Rory from previous videos. He keeps showing up as my uh, very talented assistant. So Rory, um, here's how we're gonna start out. Um, I have a little, do you have a pocket by the way? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you a prediction. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a poker chip. And it's a specific color poker chip. And I'd like you to put it in your hand. Don't look at it, okay. and then put it in your pocket, okay? So you can't get to it. All right, you've done that? Yep. Okay, so, let me put that down. I have four different colored poker chips. I have a blue poker chip, a red poker chip, a white poker chip, and a green poker chip. Why don't you go ahead and put those in here one at a time? Okay, we're gonna zip it up, and we're gonna shake it up. I want you to take it and shake it up as much as you want. Mix them all up in there. Okay, so I want you to unzip, unzip the top one. Don't look in, but I want you to reach in and just pinch one. Do you have one pinched? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get a read for you. I feel like you don't have the right one, so go ahead. And because sometimes uh, everyone kind of pinches the very first one that's in there. And my sense is uh, go ahead and pinch a different one. Switch, make a different choice. Okay. Right, I don't want to see it. Now go ahead and pull that one out and set it right there. All right, so first one out is the white poker chip. Go ahead and zip it back up. Shake it all up again so they're all getting mixed up in there. Yep. When you feel like it's mixed up, go ahead and reach in and uh, without looking in, pull a second poker chip out. Okay. Go ahead and pull it out and show us. Okay, so here's your first one. Go ahead and put the second one there. Go ahead and zip it back up for us. Shake it up. Shake it up really crazy, so it's really mixed up in there. You clearly are yeah. good at this. You're better at this than shuffling cards. Yeah. Uh, all right, I want you to go ahead and do the same thing. Would you rather do this or shuffle cards? Uh, this. Yes, I, can't I shuffle. I think that's uh, good. So don't look in there. Just go ahead and unzip it. Put your finger in there. Grab one and pull it out. Okay. And go ahead and set that one down. Uh, so we've only. There's no need to really shake it up anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Because we have uh, only one poker chip left. So go ahead and pull out the last poker chip. This is our fourth poker chip. So this is poker chip number one, pulled out. Yep. Poker chip number two. Poker chip number three, and poker chip number four. Uh, now, you'll notice that there's a second zipper on there. Yeah. And if you unzip that, you'll note that I have a prediction in there. So before you pull out the prediction, mm -hmm. go ahead and pull out uh, the chip that you have in your pocket. And so it's the blue poker chip. Go ahead and pull out the prediction that's been in there the entire time. Maybe you'd like to shuffle cards. And go ahead and read it for, uh, for uh, everyone. The third chip down will match the chip in the pocket. One, two, three. The third poker chip down that you pulled out 
mm-hmm. matches the prediction. All right, that's The Gamble by Steve Cook and our demonstration of it. All right, so you just saw the demo. You know what the effect looks like. Uh, let's just get right into it and what you get. You're going to get this booklet here. It's about four pages in length. Uh, tells you, uh, gives you the instructions in writing. And then you're going to get your, um, they're not gimmicks, they are literally your props. You're going to get five poker chips and it'll come in a leather pouch with two zippers on it. In one of the pouches, you'll keep your four poker chips, each of a different color, uh, blue, red, white, and green. And then in your front zipper, zippered pouch, you have your prediction, uh, prediction poker chip, along with a printed prediction. So uh, that's what you get. These are really nice, um, good, solid uh, props. They're um, nicely weighted poker chips. And of course, if you have a set of poker chips you would like to use instead, you could use your own poker chips. Um, but um, these are uh, what you get uh, when you get it. So you're gonna get these really nice props, the zipper, zippered leather carrying case, five poker, poker chips, four of the same color with one extra one, your fifth one, which will be your force and is a matching uh, color. So you're going to get two instructional videos. Uh, well, I shouldn't say two instructional videos. You're gonna get two videos. The first video is three minutes in length and it is a demo, uncut, full performance of the effect. So if you want to, um, I'll put a link uh, down in the description so you can go see the other demo uh, that's available. And then the second video that you're going to get is seven and a half minutes long. And in seven and a half minutes, you're going to learn everything that you need to know to be able to perform this. In the example that you saw me doing, gave one example, uh, and there's four different ways. Essentially, there are four outs, I should really say. There's four outs in this. And um, so, um, yeah, that probably tells you a lot about the effect. This is a, um, or method, I should say. Uh, this is a classic. Uh, this method has been around forever. So it's not something uh, that's new at all, um, but it is uh, nicely packaged with all of the props for you. So um, that's what it is. Uh, it's actually recorded by Big Blank Media. They do it in their big room there. And the instructions are really nice. Uh, you get uh, multiple angle shots on the uh, performance and on the instruction and the instructions are detailed enough for you to be able to learn how to do this it really is simple it's so simple that you know in this booklet you know in four pages essentially it outlines the entire routine so uh, let's talk a little bit about what the pros are on this because there are a lot of pros on this so it's essentially advertised as mentalism in your pocket and uh, there are no slights on this there are no angles your participants can touch every single one of your props because there is nothing to hide. Um, I think it's a good convincer type of a uh, routine to be able to show that maybe you can predict the future. As it's related to mentalism, I think it's really much more of an opener. It's not a closer. Um, and I think this is something from a pro perspective. If you're a mentalist, uh, you might know the method and you know that this is sort of a classic. Uh, if you're a magician and you wanted to add something a little bit uh, different rather than cards, uh, this is a nice effect that you can carry around in your pocket, ready to go and uh, super easy to, uh, to perform. Uh, it's self-working, which is really nice, and uh, it's self-contained. Those are really all of the pros. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward and easy to perform. So, um, you know, the only downside to this, and I only have really one con, and my con to it is, is that you can only perform it for a group once, you couldn't perform it twice. 
but that is like many effects. You wouldn't want to perform it twice anyway. So uh, it is a single routine. If you're doing table hopping, I think it's totally fine uh, to do it from one table to the next table uh, because um, it can vary a little bit from table to table and people uh, won't uh, start to be able to reverse engineer uh, in that respect. Um, so I think if you're a beginner, you're going to love this because you're going to be able to do a mentalism routine right out the gate. Uh, seven and a half minutes after watching this, you'll be able to perform it. Um, and also, like if you're a working professional who likes to do close-up, uh, do mentalism, or walk around or strolling, this is fine. It's really great. Um, I think it's one of those, they always say, pack small and plays big. It plays not massively big, but plays big enough. Um, it cost uh, $29.95, or basically 30 US dollars. I think that is a, a really fair price for this. If you know what the method is, you could probably go out and buy all of these yourself and maybe reverse engineer how it's done. But um, you know, it's nice. The quality of this is nice. They've sent me the chips uh, and it's something that'll last me maybe a lifetime to be honest. So uh, from a cost perspective, I think it's really good. So um, that's a gamble by Steve Cook. So you can get this at a bunch of different magic retailers. Uh, it has been out for a while. You'll see that in some places it's sold out, but if you go, I think it's uh, to Kmar Magic, which is I think Steve Cook's uh, webpage, uh, kmarmagic.com is where you can uh, more than likely find it there, as well as uh, you know a lot of retailers. If you go to brick and mortar um, or online, retailers carry it. So. Um, I liked it. It's something I'll use uh, on a regular basis. It's a nice classic, and so it's really nice that way. Um, so if you, that works for you, then that might be something you want to consider. All right, I think we've tried to keep it short, fast, and to the point today. I hope I've succeeded in that, because most of the time I do not. Um, I always like seeing your comments, uh, respond to them, and uh, so please don't be bashful to leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It always helps with the algorithms for YouTube. And uh, share this. If you know somebody who is a mentalist or a magician and wants something super easy, or if you have a friend who's a beginner and looking at uh, effects, this is a great one for a beginner uh, to be able to look like they are an amazing uh, mentalist right out the gate. So that's it. Um, thank you, everybody, for showing up. I hope you're all doing well. And I'm Fiddling Johnny, and you know, I always say, keep fiddling around with your magic. Uh, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh,